Yo, it's your boy P. Cam here to chop it up with you about Cam Newton and his interview with Million Dollars Worth of Game about why women can't learn how to cater to their man. And um, you know what? I'm going to play some of it so to give you a essence of what he was talking about. I had a, a, perfect, a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm -hmm. My parents have been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart. But I don't act a part. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad. And I say in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to 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 go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, like, I'm a boss, like, I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby. Like, but you can't cook. Okay. You, right. don't, know, you don't know when to be quiet. You right. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women, now the kickback of that is be quiet. I'm going to be quiet for the man and handle his business. You know, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. Or oh, oh, I'm going to be... I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be submissive to a man and handle his business. Mm -hmm. That's what they're going to say. So what, what is your... But it's ways to do it. And I'm not just about to sit up there and beat up my, my, my queen. No, I ain't saying like that. Yet. But I'm also going to gonna also tell the men to start being men, bro. Absolutely. Like, that, that sucker should not be rewarded. And what sucker bitch? So, you know, when, 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 a person, when a person carries himself social media wise and it's a fraud in real life okay you know it's more to every person that got money or every person who's rich isn't a real one okay you know what I'm saying? right and i think that gets kind of misconstrued in this society now because a lot of people have money but they're not genuine people so, as you can see, Cam was going with it where in a place where he feels like a lot of women is caught, caught up in today's society in this bad bee mentality where they feel like they are bad bees aesthetically, but not internally. As far as they don't have nothing really going for themselves, just on the outside, they went and got some booty shots, some titty shots, some makeup, and they feel, you know, wig, and they feel like they, this is a whole bad bee, and that runs the world. And look, it's fine. If you want to go get the titty shots, the booty shots, and all of that, and the makeup, and all of that, do that. Look good and do that. Just don't overdo it. Because I'm telling you, some of y'all got them big bubble butt booties out here, and it just look ridiculous. That's all I'm saying. Get something that match your body, okay? Don't have the bubble butt with the two thick legs. It don't look right. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, Cam had a point. Why is it that women got so erratically mad when he said that you don't know how to cater to your man why when cam newton says it it's it's a it's a thing but if beyonce says it it's like oh everybody wants to oh, y'all want to get all sexy with it then put the draws lingerie draws on you know what i'm saying you want to take the grandma draws off put the lingerie boys on and, and get busy you know what i'm saying when beyonce said but when cam newton said but now, now y'all got a problem with it why do you want me to cater to you what you doing to make me want to cater to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody got to listen to you. There's the other problem you got to. You don't know how to shut up. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. I don't want to have to argue with you in a restaurant about who, where my socks was at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Baby, where my socks at? I don't know. You need to find yourself. <laughs> and then, why, furthermore, why is we in Ruth Chris not arguing about my socks? We, I thought we left that at the front door, okay? This is your problem. Y'all don't know what to shut up when we out somewhere. You want to get to doing too much. Act like you running something. You know what I'm saying? Like, and <clears throat> I just don't think this is behavior of a good woman. Like, you a good woman, but some of this y'all need to check. And if you can't check it, then it's, it's probably 
because you don't need to be in a relationship right now or you not ready to be, be in a relationship or you're not ready to compromise or whatever. But go ahead. Do what you want to do. Be by yourself if that's what you want to be. But I'm just saying some of us require these type of things. And I ain't saying I'm the greatest man. I'm saying that I got some steps to take to be the best man that I can be. And I'm trying to take those steps. I mean, this is something y'all overlooked that Cam Newton said right after he said that y'all don't know how to be quiet and all y'all don't know how to be, you know, all these things that he said right after he said, men need to start being men though. You know what I'm saying? All this silly stuff should not be tolerated. You can't be flexing like you one thing and you not. You know, can't be acting like you a man and you not. You can't be acting like you get money and you not because it's corny and we not accepting it. And we need to hold each other accountable for that to not be the standard. You know what I'm saying? Because for one, if we're going to require women to be submissive in any type of form or fashion and serving us in any type of form or fashion and being uh, in a position to let us lead in any type of form or fashion, then... You have to be a man to demand that. And I agree with that. But I find it funny that how the only thing that the women heard was this about them being quiet and about them being bad bees and what's wrong with it and all of that. That's all they heard. You know what I'm saying? But listen, women, I, I just got through doing a video where I tried to tell you that we like we love you. We support you. You're beautiful. But this is the other side of the ratchetness that we got to stop doing. We can't keep doing this and fighting with y'all over the stuff like this. It's nothing wrong with you serving your man. Why, why is it cool when Beyonce say it? But you know what I'm saying? When, when Cam Newton said it, it's, it's crazy. I just listened to an interview on The Breakfast Club not too long ago. A woman was tripping out with a dude, wondering why, she, why the dude started ghosting her. Because he was at a family function. All the women was fixing... They men plates. She come back with her a plate. Talking about, babe, you can have a piece of my chicken. What? Is you nuts? Why? Why would this be acceptable? Why? Why would? Why would I accept that? Why would I accept that? Because see, I'm willing to give you that treatment as well. But I'm just saying, if that's how you, like, listen, I I get this. Both forms of fashion, but I don't, I feel like neither one should have feel any type of way about making a plate for either either one. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have had no problem making my wife a plate if we at the gathering and she outside or something. I'm, I'm hooking me up. So okay, I'll make her a plate too. You know what I'm saying? But if on the other few on the other foot too, if I'm here chilling with the fellas. And you in there fixing your plate. Why would you show up and sit next to me without me no food? That's a problem for me. You know what I'm saying? And in a lot of cases, a deal breaker. Because you feel like you would rather do that and be defiant. And being like, what I look like. I ain't about to fix you no plate. You got hands and all of that. You would rather do that in front of everybody than just fix me a plate. Okay. That's why it means I need to be as far as I, the way as I can be from you. You know what I'm saying? I don't make no sense for me. Because it's like, so I'm a pretty good uh, home cook. You know, I, I can do my thing in the kitchen a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that people eat what they are. So I don't have no problem <laughs> whipping you up some, <laughs> plating it, put my little sauce drizzle on there, and you go. How you like that? You know what I'm saying? But best believe, when I'm watching the game, I want the same, I want the same energy. Yeah, put me together. Well, I can't drizzle the sauce like you. You ain't got to, but you better pour it on there or something. I don't care if you spill it on there. Just hook me up. I don't want to cook while I'm watching the game. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't think there should be nothing wrong with that. Listen, if I'm if you know Sunday is my day to sit down and watch the games and do what I what I want to do, put me together. I don't care if you can't cook. You better order some postmates or something and sprinkle some parsley over the top of it and act like you cooked it. I don't care, but just put me together where I ain't got to get up and do it myself. Can you do that? And can you shut up and not be all in my ear as I'm watching the game? 
Can you not ask me 13 questions about why why this is not called soccer as far as why it should be called football? Because it's called football. Get away from me. What is wrong? Like, you know, it's just the, you know, it's the Patrice O'Neill thing they used to talk about. We want y'all around. You know what I'm saying? We don't want you out the house. We want you around, but just not right here getting on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? Just be around the corner somewhere. Call your girlfriend, sit in the other room and talk to her while I'm doing my thing with the fellas in here. But you know, it shouldn't be no problem with you serving me, with you catering to me. Because I'm a giver too. And trust me, when it's time to give, I'm giving. Huh? But listen, I'm just, I just have a problem with women getting offended by something so simple as what he said. Because he checked women and then he checked men. But somehow all the women only heard him checking women. And they had a problem with it because y'all want to be independent, uh, hyped up, super modern women who can't be told nothing. You can't be told to be quiet. You can't be told to not be like a dude. You can't be told to nothing. You can't be told to cater to your man unless Beyonce say it to you. You know what I'm saying? But then you be sitting up wondering why you by yourself. Listen, this is why. This is why. Like, stop being so offended by simple things. A man like to feel like a man. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing that big about it. Your food ain't got to be that good. Just hook me up a sandwich. Sprinkle some parsley on top of it. I'm going to love it. Because you made it for me, babe. You hooked it up. You know what I'm saying? If it's nasty, I'm it I might not eat it all, but I'm gonna eat it. I'm eat half of it at least. You know what I'm saying? But this is why I got the dog. You know, as soon as you walk out, I get a dog, the other half, everybody good. Everybody good. You think I ate it? The dog is full. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's good. But it shouldn't be nothing this wrong with women saying that you're going to cater to your man. Like, it, like I don't see how why this is such a big deal. But if this how y'all want to keep looking at stuff, fine. Whatever, man. Do whatever y'all want to do. But I'm just saying, this ain't the way to make a relationship work. Because in a relationship, she going to cater to you and you going to cater to her sometimes. And, and, you, and you shouldn't be so big as to feel like you too good to cater to your man, especially if your man is paying all them bills. The, the Cam Newton talk, talking from a whole different perspective than what I'm talking from. He's a top ten, per, a top percentile type of dude. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all want to say, whatever team he on, this is just, listen, your Cam got some money and he's talking from a top percentile. So if you don't want to cater to a dude like that, then what, what, are, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Our, our grandfathers and stuff back in the day I ain't make no money like Cam Newton, but they had women waiting on them hand and foot. More than one woman, might I say. But that's a whole nother conversation. But I'm just saying, y'all got to be a little more docile than this. Y'all just lose your mind like just because. And mind you, it's a video that's been circulating around. Um, I forget the producer dude. I might put it in the in the video, but. He produced movies and this, that, and other. He was friends with Rockefeller. And he said the whole reason that women are on this independent kick thing that they own, that they're working as much as they're working, is because the Rockefellers came together and said, you know why we pushed this? We pushed this whole women's movement, women's rights thing. And they did it because they wanted the women to start paying taxes. Only half of the population were paying, ta paying taxes, and that was the men. And they said, how can we tap into the rest of that? And it was due to them getting a women's movement going to get women hyped up about working and being independent and all of this. And it was just to get y'all to pay taxes. So now we're here, and everybody is independent women and boss bees and bad chicks and all of it. And that's what whole society is about. And I'm like, that's fine, man. Do what y'all do. I'm not mad at y'all working on y'all trying to get equal pay. I'm not mad at none of that, but I'm just saying, you know, unless it's talking about the NBA, you know, and the WNBA, because we already had that conversation before about, you know, LeBron and Sue Bird, but I'm not going to go down this road again with y'all. But I'm just saying, till Sue Bird dunk on somebody, she ain't getting equal pay. I'm just, but I'm just saying, but, you know, we talk about equal pay and all this. 
that's fine, man. Push for whatever y'all want to push for. But while y'all out there pushing for all of that, come home and still know how to treat your man. Because I'm just saying, if I, when I'm out doing what I'm doing and working and this, that, and that, when I come home, I, I still know how to be a, serve, a server to my wife when I get one. You know what I'm saying? When I get one, you know. But for the ones that wasn't wives that ex had the experience, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you know, you, you know, your boy. I, I, I ain't about to go into all that, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm talking about. Learn something. Stop being so with your nose up in the air, hot for and snooty. But it's your boy P Cap, man. Get at me, tell me what you think.